So I have decided to uh, go ahead and change out the batteries in that All-American, and I'm going to convert it from having those big top post 8D batteries to these Group 31s instead, and these are stud post. So since they're stud post and not top post like the other ones were, I'm going to have to change the cables. And because I'm cheap and I don't want to pay $50 for the cable set that puts all the positives together, I'm just going to go ahead and make some. And this is, uh, I think I spent about $42 for all the hardware here. So, you know, the, the cable for this is 2 gauge, and that was $4.99 or $3.99 a foot. So then these are two 6 inch pieces, so that was a foot. And then all the uh, these uh, connectors. So what I need to do is go ahead and uh, strip the wires a little bit, fit these on there, and crimp them. And I don't have a crimp tool, so I'm just going to do uh, use the vise to do it, and I'll show you that. And then I'm going to heat them up and solder them. I was told that I'm supposed to just put these in the vise and heat them up, and then throw the solder in there, and then jam the wire in there, and that's good. But I don't want to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and crimp it, then solder it. So. I also wanted to note that uh, they won't have quite the reserve capacity with these Group 31s, but uh, these Group 31s should last longer. And then these terminals here in the center are for the battery cables that are already on the bus. I need to cut those and crimp those too. Uh, this is the same, the uh, size 2, and then this was a size 3 ot for the big cables. So we'll go ahead and uh, I guess put these other cables together to connect the batteries. So I just use a knife to go ahead and cut it to the right length and I just pull off the, uh, the wrapping on the, the wire. Alright, got them all stripped down. Alright, so just take it and put it in the vise and clamp her down and that should be good for there for the crimping. Now I'm not sure if this is necessary or not, but I went ahead and put flux on here and in the terminals for when I solder it. Uh, like I said, I don't know if that's necessary, but you always put flux on and clean up stuff when you're doing, uh, you know, plumbing and pipe work with copper pipes. So I don't see why not. So uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> all right, these bottom ones came all right. Uh, the top ones I burned a little bit, but that's all right. I use this uh, torch here. I think that blue, I don't know, it's propane. Yeah, that's probably propane. The yellow is the map gas. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and after it cools, wrap it up in black tape, and those will be done. We'll head out to the bus. So out here at the bus, these are the uh, original cables. And of course, they have the uh, the top post terminals on them. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut those off, and then we'll hook it up from there. And put these uh, those terminals on instead. All right, got these ends on, all soldered up. Oh, that one's still hot. Just need to tape them up and bring the batteries out. So this is the completed project here. See, these are the cables here that I just put together. They're taped up now. Uh, these are the cables that are on the bus. This is the 3 at and the 4 gauge and the terminals I put on. So those go to the bus and then for the negative side, this is the 4 gauge back here that goes to the bus and then this is the 3 at for the negative side. So the last thing to do would be to go ahead and throw on some anti-corrosion spray onto the terminals because they're exposed. So.